Hi, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Associate Professor in Mathematics, Department of Science and Humanities, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this section, I am going to discuss about the nonlinear partial differential equations. A partial differential equations which involves first order partial derivatives p and q with the degree higher than 1 and the product of p and q is the called a nonlinear partial differential equations. There are many types of nonlinear partial differential equations like uh, f of p q equal to 0, f of p q z equal to 0, f of p comma q x y and claret form and so on. Now the type 1 is the equation of the form f of p q equal to 0 that is equations contains p and q only. Let the required solutions of the given partial differential equation is z equal to ax plus by plus c. Now just to use the partial derivatives for the above equations dou z by dou x equal to a and dou z by dou y equal to b. Substituting these values in this given equation we get f of a b equal to 0. From this equation we can obtain p in terms of a or a in terms of b. Next to find out p is equal to pi of a. Then the required solutions is z equal to ax plus pi of a y plus c which is the complete integral of the given partial differential equations. For example, p plus q equal to p q. This is the equation of the form f of p q equal to 0. In this case, let us consider the solutions of the given partial differential equation is z equal to ax plus b y plus c. Now, just we differentiate partially with respect to x and y, p is equal to a, q is equal to b. Substitute p and q in the given equation, we get a plus b is equal to a b. From the equations, we, had, we can obtain a or b in terms of b or c, b or a. Here, I am going to find out a. So, a term we can take left side, all others are we take right side. So, a minus a b is equal to minus b, a we take outside, a into 1 minus b is equal to minus b, so a is equal to minus b by 1 minus b. Now, we got it a value of a, just we substituting in the general solutions, so z is equal to minus b by 1 minus b x plus b y plus c, which is the complete solutions or complete integral of the given partial differential equations. Now, the type 2. In type 2, the equation of the form is f of p q z equal to 0. Here, p q multiply with z. In this case, let z is a function of u, where u is equal to x plus a y. We know this p is equal to dou z by dou x. It can be written as a d z by d u into dou u by dou x. From u, we find out dou u by dou x, simply we getting 1. Just we substitute, so p is equal to d z by d u. Similarly, q is equal to dou z by dou y. So, it can be written as a d z by d u into d u by d x. From u, we find out dou u by dou y and we substitute the equation q is equal to a into d z by d u. After finding p and q, once again we substituting in the given equation, the equation is formed by in terms of z and u. Once we getting in terms of z and u, by using separable variable method, we separate the variable and Solving by use integration, we get the required complete integral of the given partial differential equations. For example, q into 1 minus z equal to p into 1 minus q square. In this given problem, it is involving the variable is p, q, z. 
PQ are first order derivatives and Z is also here multiplying. So, this is a type 2. In this case, Z is equal to we consider f of u where u is equal to x plus ay. Simply we know this p is equal to dz by du, q is equal to a into dz by du. We substitute in the given equation, we will be get dz by du equal to root of 1 minus a plus az by a. So, in this equations, we converted in terms of u and z. Now, we use the separate separations of variable type. We separate the variables in left side and right side for z and u. So, simply we got it dz by root of 1 minus a plus a z equal to du by a. After separations, we use the integration on both the side. We get 2 by a root of 1 minus a plus a z equal to x plus a y by a plus c which is the complete integral of the given partial differential equations. Now, the type 3. The third type is the equation of the form involving f of p q x y. Once we will be given in this form, first of all, we separate the variables. So, in this method is also called variable separa separable method. In your left side, we convert f of p, q, p and x and the right side is we convert f of y and q and also we have to consider this is equal to some constants a, simply say a. Now, the left side f1 of p comma x is equal to a to find out p values. Similarly, f2 of y comma q equal to a, we find out q values. After we know that the total differentiation d is equal to dou z by dou x dx plus dou z by dou y dy. Simply in this partial derivatives notation p dx plus q dy, it, it can be written as d is equal to p dx plus q dy. Just we substituting p and q here, after we use the ordinary integrations, we get the required solutions. For example, solve p square minus q square is equal to x minus y. Now, in this equation is involved p q x y. So, it is a third type. Now, first of all, we have to separate variable method. So, p and x we convert left side and q and y is convert right side. So, p square minus x equal to q square minus y. So, the left side is assume the some constants p square minus x is equal to a so, simply we identify p equal to x plus a whole power 1 by 2. Similarly, q square minus y is equal to a, q is equal to y plus a whole power 1 by 2. Now, we know this the total differentiation d z is equal to p dx plus q into dy. We substitute p and q in this above equations and integrate, we get z equal to 2 by 3 x plus a whole power 3 by 2 plus 2 by 3 y plus a whole power 3 by 2 plus c which is the complete integral of the given partial differential equations. The next one is type 4, it is a claret form. In this general equation of the form is z equal to px plus qy plus f of pq. In this case, we consider the required solution is z equal to ax plus by plus c. Then p is equal to a, q is equal to b. Just to be substituting the given equations, we will be get the complete integral. For example, find the singular integral of the partial differential equations. Z equal to Px plus Qy plus Px plus P square plus Pq plus Q square. So, it is a equation of the claret form. So, first to find out complete integral. Complete integral means just to be substitute p is equal to a and q is equal to b in the given equations. So, we get z is equal to ax plus by plus a square plus ab plus b square, which is called complete integral or complete solutions of the given partial differential equations. Now, the, our question is find singular integral. Singular integral means just to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b from equation 2. 
Now in this case, just to use the partial differentiation with respect to a and b and equating to 0. So simply we got it x plus 2a plus b equal to 0 and y plus 2b plus a is equal to 0. We solving these equations, we get a equal to y minus 2x by 3, b is equal to x minus 2y by 3. After finding a and b, substituting in this complete integral, we get x square plus y square minus xy plus 3 is at equal to 0, which is called a singular integral of the given partial differential equations. Thank you for watching this videos.